Yep, you're good. All right, everyone, we have linebacker Drew Crox here, and he's ready for your questions. Hey, Drew, how's it going? What's up? I'm doing great. How y'all doing? Good, man. Thanks. Hey, uh, last year, when, when you got hurt, what do you remember about kind of that moment when the injury happened? Uh, pain. I was, I was very upset. Um, emotionally, I was very upset. I was very mad that that happened when it happened because I feel like I kind of had let my team down at that, at that point. Well, why, why did you feel that way, like you had let your team down? Why do you uh, describe it that way? Uh, just because I got hurt and I had to go out that game, and uh, I just feel like I could have made a difference if I would have got to keep playing this season. Not just saying I'd have made a huge difference. Like the, the, great, the team was great without me, but I just feel like I could have added uh, or contributed more to the team. And I feel like that injury kept me from doing that, and I was just I was more more so upset with myself about it. What do you remember about how it happened? Was it kind of a freak thing, or uh, how did it? And it, it was your shoulder, correct? Yeah, yes, sir. It was my shoulder. Uh, it, it had popped out three times in the West Virginia game. And uh, I, I can't tell you exactly how it happened. Uh, I just I just remember it kept happening. That's, that's all I remember. <laughs> and, and when did you kind of figure out that you would have to miss the rest of the season, those, those final eight games? Uh, probably like two or three days after, after the West Virginia game. Not too long after the West Virginia game. Mm. And did you get to watch any games from the sidelines or were you were you watching them at, at home on the TV? Or how did you kind I, of keep up with everything? Because I had got surgery not too long after that, after the West Virginia game, and I watched the rest of the games on TV that year. And what just what what was that like? I mean, after you're you're in it, and then now you're you're not even there to be able to watch on the sidelines. Uh, it's, it was totally different. It was just um, it, it kind of sucks not being out there to experience that emotion with your team, you know, just because there's so much emotion going on in the, on in the game of football. And uh, it's it's cool to see your brother succeed. And it um, it kind of hurt, you know, having to watch that from the TV. And then just what, what are your kind of personal expectations for this season as far as what you feel like you need to provide for this defense? Uh, personally, I feel like I need to provide leadership along with me and a couple other guys, um, older guys. Uh, I feel like I, I'm going to want to use last year as a stepping stone. I've been watching a lot of film from last year and the four games that I did get to play, so I kind of want to build on that and do better than I did last year. Hey, Drew, I'm curious, what have you seen out of uh, Stephen Parker so far in camp? Uh, Stephen, it's, it's like night and day from last year. Stephen has got way better. I feel like he's much uh, much more uh, – he's, he's, he's developed in a mental sense. Like, he's, he's, uh, he's already a great physical athlete. I feel like he's really got like a hang of getting uh, the defense down. I feel like uh, y'all are going to see a lot of Stephen Parker this year. Hey Drew, with uh, Denzel Feaster back now in the line, you know the linebacker group and getting through yeah. the injuries. What have you seen from him? Uh, Denzel Feaster, I'm I'm really like I'm I can't tell you how excited I am for him to step on the field. Uh, that's a guy I've been wanting to play with for for years now, and I know what he's going to do. Uh, he's been doing a lot of great things in fall camp and in practice. I think he's going to shock a lot of people when he gets on the field um, because he does play at such a high level, and uh, I'm I'm really excited to play with him. Hey, Drew, coach said last week you were a little bit nicked up. How, how big of a concern is that for week one? Uh, it's, it's no concern at all. Uh, it's that, that's in the past. It's no concern at all. I'm already back to the full everything. It, it was very minor, nothing, nothing to be concerned about. And then I, I wondered, Kenny Logan was mostly a special teams guy last year. Uh, what have you seen from him in practices defensively? Uh, Ken, Kenny's doing a lot, too. Like, like Steven, like I said about Steven, I feel like he's developed a lot mentally, and I feel like um, it's night and day from last year. Um, not from a physical standpoint, because they're great athletes. Just, you know, coming in as freshmen, it's kind of hard to learn a college defense. And I think they've done a great job of, like, grasping uh, schemes. And I feel like they've, they've shown that on the field throughout camp. Hey, Drew, you guys lost a lot of uh, senior leadership in the secondary from last season. Um, Cal Mary Reeves, well, I guess one of the veteran DBs on the team. How has he stepped into that leadership role for those guys? Uh, Kyle's been balling. Kyle, Kyle's been balling. Kyle's been setting a great example of um, – you can see that in his younger brother, too, because his younger brother obviously looks up to him. A lot of the freshmen uh, DBs look up to him because Kyle sets the example. He's a great athlete, great player. Um, he's definitely a leader on his defense. So um, I think y'all are going to see a lot of Kyle and a lot of a lot of good things from Kyle. What have you observed of, of the, the Deuce-Kyle Mayberry dynamic? Uh, they they having fun out there? They get after each other? They compete? What, what's that like? <laughs> Um, it, it brings a lot of energy to the defense. You know, playing play with your brother, that's automatically going to hype you up. And seeing them hyped up is going to hype everybody else up. So I think they complement each other very well when on the field.
no trash talk, nothing like that, but teammates. Uh, it's more, it's more so encouragement. Uh, every now and then, you know, you got to, you got to show some tough love, but it's more so encouragement with them too. Great. Hey, last year when you got hurt, uh, Gavin Potter had to play a lot. Uh, Jay Deneen ended up playing more. What, what have you seen from those guys and, and their development since then? They kind of got thrown into the fire. I, th I think as, uh, as a whole in the linebacker room, everybody has developed tremendously from last year. Uh, like you said, Gavin Potter, Jaden Mean, Nick Channel, Cooper Rue, uh, Denzel Peace, like I already mentioned too, like all, all of those guys have came along a lot since last year. I'm very excited to see them on the field uh, because just throughout camp, they've all done tremendous things. Who are some other guys on defense who are kind of proving themselves in, in camp these past few weeks? Um, Kyron Johnson, easily. Kyron, Kyron has been having an amazing camp, like an amazing camp. Um, Elijah Jones has been having an amazing camp in my eyes. Um, Alonzo Pearson, another freshman, I think he's been having a very good camp. Um, uh, the other guys I already mentioned, Denzel Feaster, Kyle, Ricky Thomas, Davon Ferguson. I mean, really the whole defense, is, in my opinion, has came a long way from last year. Is it possible that the, the defense is going to be better this year? And what makes you think that that might be the case? Um, I, I think it is possible if we, if we um, if as a whole, we better understand defense. I feel like it's not um, a physical standpoint that's going to separate us from last year's defense because we had just as many physically talented guys. It's just it's going to come down to how many guys on the team actually know the defense, like uh, the back of their hand, basically. Any more questions for Drew? All right, we'll be right back with you. Thanks, Drew. Thank